Chances are, if you stumbled on this video, you were recently poked in the eye. I'm gonna tell you what to do and what not to do to keep your eyes healthy and safe. Keep watching. Everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, and kids' eyes. Now, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment just to hit that like and subscribe button so that I know and YouTube knows that you like this kind of content, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's get to it. We're gonna be talking about what to do if you get poked in your eye. If you're here, it might have just happened to you. You're trying to figure out what's going on, what to be concerned about, or if there are any steps that you need to be taking. If you were recently poked in the eye, you're probably experiencing some of these symptoms. Light sensitivity, where all the lights just seem so bright and you can barely keep your eyes open. That's likely because you might have a scratch on the surface of the eye. You might also have redness, pain, the feeling like there's something stuck in the eye, even though when you look in the mirror, you don't see anything at all. Blurry vision and even a headache. Here's the thing, if you were poked in the eye, there's a good chance you might have a scratch on the surface of the eye. That scratch is called an abrasion. It can happen on the cornea, which is the clear dome-shaped covering of the eye, that's where LASIK happens, or even on the white part of the eye, the conjunctiva. Either of these can be extremely painful. The cornea has a ton of nerve endings. So any trauma there can really feel like one of the most painful things you've ever experienced. So it's really important first to figure out what it was that scratched the eye. There are a lot of things that carry a very high rate of infection. Plant or vegetable matter, fingernails, wood. Those are things that we actually worry about a lot more than even something metal scratching the surface of the eye. Now, there's also a big difference between being poked in the eye with either an object, but it's not actually penetrating the eye. And that distinction is really important because an injury that's penetrated inside your eye is usually going to require surgery. So this is why anytime you get poked or have any kind of injury or trauma to the eye, I always recommend seeing your ophthalmologist because they're going to be able to decide if it's an injury that just requires some antibiotic drops or if it's going to require surgery. And ophthalmologists are surgeons, so that's what we do is we will be able to perform surgery for something called a ruptured globe. But getting back to just being poked in the eye, let's assume it was your kid accidentally trying to grab your glasses off your face or some kind of injury like that where it's a finger or a fingernail. The things that you don't want to do is you don't want to put any of those anti-redness drops in your eye. Yes, your eye is red, but you'll find if you put those drops in the eye, first of all, it's going to sting. It's going to hurt even more than what it does now. And second, it's just not going to improve the underlying cause. If there's a scratch on the surface of the eye, the anti-redness drops are just going to get rid of the redness. It's not going to actually treat the scratch. What else not to do? Well, you really don't want to rub it. And I know that's really hard because when something hurts or something feels like there's something in the eye, you want to rub immediately. But it's very important to not rub the eye. Next, don't patch the eye. Don't go out and buy one of those pirate patches from the drugstore and try to treat it yourself. Patching the eye actually creates a dark, moist place for bacteria to proliferate. And that is not what we want, especially if there's a scratch on the surface of the eye. If there is a corneal abrasion, that means that there is injury and the risk of infection can potentially be blinding. So never, ever, ever patch the eye. Next, don't touch the eye with anything. I know it might feel like there's something still in the eye and you might be just oh dying to figure out if there is and you wanna go in there with your fingernail or even a Q-tip, resist that urge. You can just cause additional trauma by doing something like that. So don't touch the eye either with your finger or any other kind of object that's really, really bad and potentially dangerous for the eye. Last, don't put your contact lenses in that eye. Contact lenses deprive the front surface of your eye of oxygen. And when you don't have a scratch, it's all right. But when you actually have an abrasion on the surface of the eye, it can actually slow down the healing process and might even cause an infection. So 
do not put contact lenses on your eye. This is why we always tell you to have a pair of glasses for just this reason, because we don't want you walking around with just one contact lens. And I know that's really hard, but if that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do, because I do not want you putting in a contact lens on this eye that was just recently traumatized. What can you do? You can blink. Actually, blinking is great. That's your natural way of trying to get rid of any foreign body that might still be in there. You may even just wear sunglasses because if your eyes are really, really light sensitive, you're going to want to put something on that's just going to help decrease the amount of tearing and all that photophobia. But the most important thing, like I said, is to get in to see your ophthalmologist so that we can determine if you need further treatment. Typically, we're going to give you an antibiotic drop just to prevent any possibility of infection. Sometimes we may even give a steroid drop, but usually that's reserved for very extreme cases of pain. And generally, it's not something that we like to do because again, just like contact lens where it can slow the healing process down. So if it's not necessary, we're just going to go with an antibiotic. If there's a scratch on the eye, they can also put a bandage contact lens on the eye. And that's different than your own contact lenses because it's under the direction of an ophthalmologist. And we're watching to make sure that there's no infection. We'll typically see you daily if we decide to put a bandage contact lens on the surface of the eye. And then last, what your ophthalmologist might do is debride the wound. There are some kinds of injuries that cause a scratch on the eye but they make the cornea, that layer of tissue, very rough. And it's not going to heal properly until we take a little bit more off, which I know sounds really painful, but we do it under numbing medicine. And then that way it can heal a lot better. So that's called debridement. Again, only the ophthalmologist should be doing this. Please do not try this at home. That's not something that you wanna be doing. What we're going to be doing is looking under the slit lamp and seeing if there's any irregular borders or if it looks like it's not going to heal well. Again, those kinds of injuries tend to be fingernail injuries. They just cause kind of a scratch that doesn't, um, that's not really regular. Also plant matter can do that as well. So. Those are some of the do's and don'ts of having a scratch on the surface of your eye. You can even put in, if you want, a drop of artificial tears, just a cold drop of artificial tears, not by zine, but something like Refresh, Genteel, Blink, Sustain. Those are all great artificial tears that you can use. It might soothe the eye until you get in to see your ophthalmologist, but make sure that you can do so without actually causing additional trauma to the surface of the eye. Again, the artificial tear is not going to heal the eye anymore, but it'll make you feel a little bit better until you actually get in to see your eye doctor. If it's really painful, just close the eye instead of putting a patch and just wear those sunglasses on your drive over. I hope that's reassuring. Most of the time, just being poked in the eye is not going to cause long-term damage unless it actually penetrated through the eye, which can happen. Only way to tell for sure is to see your eye doctor. That's it for now. But again, guys, if you can, please let me know what kind of content you want. Post that in the comments. I read every comment, like, and subscribe to my channel because that is the only way to let YouTube know that you like this kind of content. And until next time, I am Dr. Rupa. I'll see you soon.